What's up guys, it's Big Al with another dumb sports vlog. Now, I wasn't gonna vlog today. I was gonna sit back, baseball's back, I was gonna enjoy the Yankees and the Nationals and the Dodgers and the Giants, wear my Angels stuff. Mike Trout's playing this year, even with his pregnant wife at home. The Angels have a shot. We'll see. We usually have a good first half of the season and then we blow up in the second half. So 60 games should do us really well. Um, so I wasn't gonna vlog today. I was gonna sit back, wait for sports to happen, vlog tomorrow, talk about it tomorrow, break down the two baseball games. But then the Washington Redskins came out with the dumbest thing I've ever, ever seen. I had to just come on here and shit on these guys. Like, why would you, they came out today and they announced that they were gonna refer to themselves interimly, for, um, as a matter of fact. So it's not permanent, but they're gonna refer to themselves as the Washington football team. That's the stupidest freaking thing I've ever heard. The Washington football team. You, oh my god! I saw that and I was like, you know what? I gotta vlog about. I gotta vlog about their dumbasses today because, you know, I've been beating them up the past few vlogs. But I said if you pick these two mascots, you pick the the Red Wolves or you pick the Red Tails, which is the Tuskegee Airmen. I even saw another one that I liked as uh, the Red Hawks. You know, that's three three options right there. Three good options. And you said that you were going to be referred to as the Washington football team. Not even football club. They could have gone soccer, the Washington FC. They could have done something. That would have been kind of cool, the first football team, um, to take that from soccer. But the Washington football team, not even organization, not even nothing, just Washington football team. You're so stupid. I said you could use these changes in your organization to build up and build momentum and move into the future you got ron rivera you got chase young you got dwayne haskins you know moving into the future you could have used this as momentum to turn things around but now you you come out and you look like the dumbest freaking franchise just because you can't settle on a name after you change your racist name oh my god i had to come on here and talk shit about the redskins just because you could have changed it so easily. The internet was doing it for them. All over Twitter, they had Red Wolves logos. They had the Red Tails logos. People were designing these concepts and just tweeting them, getting thousands of retweets. I know the team saw that shit. Are you kidding me? They, they didn't go in and look at it and say, oh, we can just take this. You know, pay this guy um, for, his, for his uniform idea. Came out and said, we're going to be red and yellow, burgundy and yellow, whatever it is. And you're going to be the Washington football team. <laughs> so goddamn stupid. Oh, you got the foot. They're reporting the camp already. The Texans and the Chiefs already reported rookies, I think. Well, guys are already in camp. You don't have a name for your football team? Like, I mean, uh, kudos, kudos to Seattle. Seattle came out today and they uh, they got an expansion hockey team, which is cool. They came out, they're going to be the Seattle Kraken. That's badass right there. Uh, props to Seattle. They came out and did that. Washington couldn't even figure out a freaking nickname for themselves. Seattle's got the Kraken. Man. That's going to be cool, though. I'll, I'll be a Seattle Kraken fan. I'm a Penguins fan, but I, I'll root for that team just because I like pirate stuff. But, man, was that crazy? The other thing that came out in the news today, Mike Tyson's going to fight. I was 12 years old last time Mike Tyson fought. Isn't that... That's wild. He's been retired for 15 years. You know who? what other athletes haven't played in 15 years? The NBA, you got Nick Van Exel, Vlade Divac... Reggie Miller, those guys have been gone for 15 years. NFL, that was the year that um, Jerome Bettis won the won the Super Bowl with the Steelers and retired. That his last fight was before the big USC Texas game, probably one of the best games of all time. And I don't even be biased, but um, that was probably the best football game of all time. Even though we lost, that was 15 years ago, and that was before Tyson's. That was after Tyson's last fight. He's gonna come out and he's gonna fight. Um, Roy uh, Roy Jones Jr. I'll watch it. I'll watch Tyson fight. You've seen his, his YouTube videos? I mean, he was fat at one point. A few years ago, they came out. He, was, he had some fat pictures. He was retired. He was healthy. Or he wasn't healthy at all. And then he came out, lost all this weight. I've been seeing his training videos on Twitter. That guy's a beast. I think he'll come out and he'll destroy at least a couple people. He could probably destroy a couple people. Probably not champions or anything, but he could come out and destroy some people. Man. That's wild. You got Mike Tyson coming back. 2020 has been the wildest year. The only thing normal is the Super Bowl happened. The college football championship happened. It's been the only normal part of 2020. Yeah, basketball season got canceled with like 15 games left. Baseball, they kicked the guys out of spring training. March Madness didn't happen. 
Yeah, Mike Tyson coming out of retirement 15 years after his last fight to beat the hell out of someone. Oh, my God. You know what else happened today? Nate Robinson is boxing. Now, we remember Nate Robinson is one of the shortest basketball players in the league during his time, but he would always win the dunk contest. He had, he had some sick dunks. He's going to box Jake Paul, the YouTube dickhead that runs around in the suicide forest in Japan and... Um, <laughs> what? I, I think he was supposed to box Antonio Brown at one point and Antonio Brown and Jake Paul had some beef on Twitter because Antonio Brown's a dickhead and he was he was tweeting at everyone that he wanted to fight Jake Paul but then they got a deal done with Jake Paul's going to fight Nate Robinson Nate Robinson's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, he's shorter than I am I'm, I'm freaking barely average height I mean he's he's short, he's so short I mean, he's going to have a major reach deficiency. What are you going to do, jump and hit the guy? I mean, that's wild. Uh, normalcy. Normalcy comes back today. All right, 4 o'clock Pacific time. I'm going to watch the Yankees and the Nationals. Juan Soto's already out. He tested positive for coronavirus. The guy that helped him win the World Series last year. But normalcy is coming back. I don't have to sit here and get mad about the Washington football team doing some more dumb shit. I can sit here and be mad that the Yankees are winning or the Dodgers are winning. And we got basketball in a few days. The The basketball started um, their spring training or their camp or whatever they're doing. We got basketball coming back next week. My Bucks are going to take it this year. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to, I had to come on here and vent to you guys about the Washington football team. I thought that was the dumbest shit ever. On the same day that the Seattle Kraken comes out with one of the best names in sports, you got the Washington football team. They need to decide soon. They need to decide for football season. They need to get gear out there. They need to get stuff going because how are you going to distribute to your fans? As what today is June 24th or July 24th. The teams are reporting to camp next week. You got probably less than 45 days before the season starts. You're going to have to make a new logo, distribute all this stuff, get stuff out there before the season, or you're going to have your your fans just wearing red shirts, wearing old Redskins stuff. I mean, that's so lame. I have so much Steelers stuff. I have so much sports gear. Like, I can't imagine just throwing it all away. What about the people that have, like, Redskins tattoos on their on their arms and stuff like that? Out here we in California, we got Raiders fans that have Raiders tattooed everywhere. A guy has Dodger logo side of his head. What do you do when your your team has to change the logo? These guys getting tattoos removed because they're racist now. Oh man! Thanks for watching my rant. You know, just came on here, goofed off with it, talking about the the R words, boxing. I never talk boxing. I had two boxing, two major boxing topics today. I don't know anything about boxing, but I just had to talk about it. Um, thanks for watching. Go read my blog, another dumb sports blog. Um, like and subscribe. Yeah. Love always. Big Al. Iowa sucks.